G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Today we're in the backyard and I've got the tarp up just playing around with this today. And this one's the DD XL which is 3 meters by 4.5. But today's video is about the Valhalla Ranger BB bag. And I've got this in the multicam and this is the large and I believe they also do the large in Coyote. But they have a medium and an extra large which they only do in the multicam. Uh, my cheat sheet says the medium is shoulder width 840, foot box 640 and total length of 1920 millimeters or 192 centimeters. The large one here is 940 across the shoulders, 740 across the feet and 2.28 meters in length and the extra large is shoulder of 940 foot box 740 wide by 2.43 meters in length so I went with the large because the advice even though I'm only about five foot six a little bit more extra width in the shoulders and leg room I can get some of my gear in with this too so let's read the instructions they say it's a hundred percent waterproof yep we've got a built-in mosinet which will show you. We've got the tie off and peg down tabs. Uh, yes, there's a wider gusset, gusset allowing uh, around the shoulders, allowing more room. And the weight of the uh, regular one is 1.08 uh, kilograms. This one is 1.29 kilograms, and the extra large is 1.42 kilograms. That's all the, the specs and now the bit to show you the best bit. Now I have used this a few times in different situations. I actually just spent the weekend doing the Bob Cooper basic survival course and believe it or not going by today it was nothing like this was it two three weekends ago the temperature was down to the local town it got down to they said three degrees centigrade at night and we were further down beside the lake and we had wind we had rain so this did go through the uh, the mill put it that way it, it got tested i did have the small basha tarp over me the hoochie but that still let a lot of the wind in uh, the rain as the wind changed direction the direction was actually coming directly on me so what i'll do is i'll get this out we'll get it set up and I'll show you the pros and cons because there are a couple of cons but in my next video I'll show you how I've corrected that so like I said it comes in a nice sack it's not a stuff sack well yeah it's a stuff sack there's no cinch on it so you just shut the stuff it in and it's done it does roll up easy and go back in the pack fairly easy tabs let me show you these they're just normal so about 20 mil nylon straps there is a whole uh, pole sleeve for your bivy poles flying out under there the bivy poles with another tag on top and coming over to the other side of the shoulders, another one. So that's oh, well, that's the pro. So we're able to peg it down. The con. There's nowhere to put your pole. So if you do get yourself a BB pole or the BB hoop, there's nowhere to put it apart from shove it in the ground, which is what they said you need to do. But you're not always guaranteed of having a hard ground or a soft ground or the right ground to put that in. So there's no grommets on there, there's no sleeve like you get on some to put the poles in. That's it. I did put one of the poles in here. I don't know if you can see, but it did start to damage the strap, the webbing. So that's not advisable. Foot ends 
we've got two peg out points and the foot box is going to be about a foot high so that's, that's a good size so it's not like some of the uh, lightweight ones where there's no foot box it's just stitch at the bottom and go straight up so you've got no room for your feet in there once so I'll set this up and then I'll bring you in and show you Now this material is heavy duty, they say, and I must admit it, it feels good and heavy duty. There was no damage from having it on the ground the other weekend. So, so far we've got two peg out points at the foot end, one at either side of the shoulder, and we've got one at the head end here. So that's it all set out. The head end. Let's push it in further so I don't catch myself on it. Like I said, we've got the loop here. So when I pegged it out the other weekend, I brought the shoulders in a couple of inches either side. <laughs> I ran a line up to the top of the hoochie and that held it up off my face. And first, it, they are white, uh, no, not YKK, no, SBS zippers, which are still pretty good. They've got a dust guard on it, so it's going to protect the zip. So, that's that. So if it's raining, you're just going to zip that over, leaving yourself a bit of a gap on the side, the rain's not coming in. So you don't get too much condensation. And we have a second zip. Remember where I left it? I normally leave it in the middle, but not today. Here it is. Again, SBS zips. These two-way zips, you can do it off or on it from either end. And this is a half decent bug net. It's not a no CM1. So what I have done with that, which I would recommend, is spray it with some permethrin, yeah, per, permethrin, which kills all the bugs and prevents or puts them off coming anywhere near you. So I had no trouble, but I've done that. Getting in and out, a new top entry. There's no side zips. But with it being as big as it is, it's not that bad. Let's keep these knockoff clocks off. Now how tight you have this will be your personal preference. So I can already feel it's a bit too tight still for me. I'm going to bring it in a couple of inches either side again. And that's giving me a lot more room to get in and out. <coughs> now, when I use this, I use a middle zip sleeping bag, which I'm testing at the moment is uh, based on the forces one. This same company, the Valhalla, make it. 
So I'll do a review of that when I've used it a few more times and let you know. So here we go, we've got the bug net here. With the permethrin, it's not too bad because a lot of the bugs won't actually come on it. If you didn't treat it, this actual bug netting is resting on your face without any hoops in, in it. And temperature today is about 27 degrees centigrade, so getting in this bag, it's heated up really quick. Let's get out of this. When I used this, I had one of the, uh, I call them the yoga mats. I had the inside of it and just a, a one inch self inflating mat, which I've had about 10 years now. And that all fitted in nice and easy. I was able to get my boots in, I was able to get some of my gear in here. And because I had this tied up, it kept most of this off my face and I was able to shift down a little bit further because the bag is a good what 18 inches two foot longer than me. Condensation when I was in it it wasn't that bad I was expecting it to be a lot worse especially with the, uh, the damp weather. There was a bit you're always going to get some condensation whether you're in a beefy bag or a tent single or double wall. But to be honest, it's really the breathability of this material. They don't say actually what the material is, but it is really good breathability. There's less condensation actually in the bivy bag than I normally get in my tent. So, or any of my tents have got a few to be honest, so... Yeah, you are going to get condensation this time of year here. Yeah, I'm looking at going for an overnight next week and the temperature is going to be dropping down in the t local town which is about uh, 12 miles away from where I'm going in the bush. So that means in the bush it's probably going to get down to about 3 degrees. So I'll, I'll be taking this just for that one overnighter. Alright, I'll sit. Material wise it's really good, features wise it is lacking. So, oh, let's come off the peg there, Never mind. let's take that peg out. So, if you don't mind it being really close, or not having it pegged in, you could actually pull it up a lot higher to keep it away from your face if need be. So that means when you're moving and running at night, this is going to be moving too. So like I said, pros and cons. So we've got the bug netting. It's breathability, really good. Waterproof, really good. Quality of build, very good. Uh, I did get one from Valhalla and one of the webbing straps. So I sent it back and they sent me a replacement straight away and they covered the cost so I went out of money so I'm just watching the ants down here so I'm not happy that I'm in the backyard so the Valhalla company when it comes down to anything like that they're really really good uh, negatives right we've got loop here so if you don't want to use this, you can't use that loop because there's no tag in on this side to tie it up, tie it off, and the same on here. There's no tag on the inside to wrap it around and tag it off there to keep it off your face. So if you can have it pinned up to keep it away from your face. It's not very good for that, unless you don't mind just tucking it inside on top of you and sleeping without the bog net or anything. 
but then you're going to have this area which is sitting straight on top of your body and technically you're going to have three layers on top of you so you are going to overheat except for the winter you, you'll be i think you'll be okay in the winter once it gets down to the zero degrees centigrade or below but anything lower uh, above that you are i believe you will overheat so yeah that's the valhalla uh ranger bivy bag it could be better would i recommend it as it is i think i'd give it about an eight out of ten I, I I couldn't say I honestly couldn't say I like it I'll be honest here and like I said these things where there's nowhere to tie this up that is a pain in the ass I'm not having a little pocket or a grommet to put the actual bivy poles that's that's a pain that's a something they need to sort out I think the pocket might be a, a better idea let's have a pocket stitched on so you can still use the uh, tie-out points without interfering and like I said the actual webbing we've only been like I said 20 mil, mil which is less than an inch about three quarters of an inch I don't think that'd be strong enough even with a grommet uh, it might be but I don't think it would because I've done a few modifications and I've actually attached grommets using the punch to hold up to and everything and this size has never really held up properly so either they put thicker webbing on with a grommet in or they put a small pocket so you can put the pole into it so that's two things I think they are missing like I said, the, to hold the poles and to tie these back out of the way Apart from that, it is a really, really good bivy. Look at it, 8 out of 10. I'm not going to recommend it, but that's my... I'd rate it at that, about the 8 out of 10. So, I hope you've enjoyed the video. And if you have, and you're new to my channel, and you haven't subscribed already, please go down below and click on that subscribe button. And click the notification bell so you'll be notified of all future videos. Click that like button because the more likes I get the higher up the order I go and if you are already a subscriber I thank you very much for supporting my channel and for watching my videos it is much appreciated all your comments so until next time get out there have some fun